everybody. This is Erin. I'm coming to you today because I thought it would be fun to try an art project together. It is an art project that I just got done doing with Art and Soul with the inmates over at the Goodhue County Correctional Facility and I thought it might be something you'd like to try because let's face it, we all feel a little out of control right now. We feel like things are out of our control right now and Art is a way that you can feel like you're in control of what you're doing. Now you may say to yourself, I am not an artist. I don't know how to do um, drawing. Get that out of your head right now. You can do what I'm gonna teach you how to do and it's gonna be good for your brain and it's gonna be good for your soul. So let's get started. I'm gonna teach you how to do something called a labyrinth. That's a labyrinth. Labyrinths have been in many cultures throughout many, many centuries. They're used for um, spirituality, for guidance, for meditation. Um, look them up on the internet. This is a seven circuit labyrinth and that's what you're going to learn how to do today. Now you may say to yourself, that looks like a maze. This is a maze. They are two very different things. Mazes, mazes are there to trick you into going the wrong way. Kind of metaphorical, right? Labyrinths, there is only one way in and one way out. The same way you get to the center, is the same way you get back out. So let's give this a try. This is an example of one I did with emotion words. Kind of looks like a brain. And I added some color. This is the one I made working with the inmates this last Wednesday. Oh, there's lots of emotion in that one, I think. I'm drawn to blues and greens right now and purples. This was my test run before I saw the inmates. First I drew the labyrinth and then I did painting around it. <clears throat> what you need for materials are this. You need a piece of typing paper because that's your practice page. Then if you want to do a bigger labyrinth, you're going to need just a bigger piece of art paper, mixed media paper, construction paper, whatever you want to use. You will need a pencil, possibly with an eraser if you like to erase. You're going to want a waterproof black marker. This one is a Sharpie marker, thick tipped. So, um, see if you can find one of their, those around your house. And then you are going to need assorted whoop, markers. Yes, I have a lot of markers. And you are going to need colored pencils. You actually don't have to have the markers or the colored pencils, but they're nice to have when you want to embellish your labyrinth. Okay, let's get started. Scrap piece of paper first. I'm going to go through this slowly. You use your pencil. I'm going to use the Sharpie marker so that you can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, if I use the pencil, you'll never see what I'm doing. Find about two thirds of the way down your paper, right about here, and you're going to make a cross shape. There, that wasn't too hard, was it? I told you. Now, you're going to make some right angles, and just watch. Okay. 
okay? Good. You do that. You're gonna ex you're gonna end up extending some of these lines. This is just a beginning guide. Now you're gonna make a dot in each one of these quadrants like this. Oh, let's make them darker. Okay. Now, watch me and then you do it. Put your marker here. And you're going to make this line connect with this dot. Watch me do it. Let me show you again. This line with this dot. That's your first part of the labyrinth. You're gonna move over to the dot. You're going to connect this dot right here with this line right here. Watch me do it. Now remember, you can always pause and rewind the video. I made it come right around and I scooped it right in to meet that line. Now you're going to move to the next part of your labyrinth, which is right here. This is going to come around and connect with this arm of the cross. Here we go. You see it taking shape? It's such a joy. I'm gonna move down to the next one, right down below it, right here. This is gonna come around and connect with this arm of the cross. to the next dot. This is going to come around. Can you see why you started two thirds of the way down the paper? So that you have enough room to make these circles. Now we're at this angle right here. You're going to connect this bottom part of that angle to that dot going all the way around the labyrinth. And we have one, we have two more to connect. These two right here at the bottom. You're gonna start with the bottom part of the cross and come all the way around. And right in. There's one more step. Do you see these two little parts right here, this one? and this one have to get connected. Top part of the cross gets connected with that little part of the angle. Now what you end up doing is you're gonna embellish this any way you want. You can put meditative words in there. You can put the word calm you can put the word lonely, love, family, patience, or no words at all. And you start and you go in. 
I made it to the center. There is only one way to the center. And then when you're in the center, you might want to pause. Take a deep breath. You can maybe meditate on a problem or on a joy or on gratitude. And then you can come back out. Oh, I found it. I got out. The center and the outside. Then you can use your markers and your colored pencils. Boop. Whatever else you want to use to embe embellish your labyrinth. You can give it a title. Um, you can make one a day depending upon how you feel. I painted some watercolor um, abstract art and I could do a labyrinth within this circle right here. You can do that after it's dry. Oh, or you can, you can look for a whale <laughs> in, your, in your circle and sketch that, whatever you want. Seriously. All you need is a pencil and a pen and a piece of paper. And you can make a labyrinth. And I guarantee you it will make you feel better. Maybe I'll put up another video for you to try another piece of creativity to help your soul. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.